So when I was in Madagascar, I went to this really incredible market in uh, the town of Ansarebe. I'm probably saying that wrong. And this was an incredible market. There was this like huge, bountiful piles of fruit everywhere and all sorts of like interesting things for sale, sections with like animals and sections with housewares and all this stuff. I got my own theme song now. <laughs> this is my traveling music. The dude behind me is playing a guitar. Kind of following me through the market. I get used to this. I wonder if I can like hire this guy to just follow me around and play this song. And you know, obviously I went there trying to find a different type of fruit to have for my Weird Fruit Explorer series. Or I was trying to find an amazing plant for my amazing plant series. But instead, I found this. <laughs> Which is a, uh, a lamp. A desk lamp that is made out of just you know, things that were found. And I really wanted to talk about this, so I decided I'm going to make a series that is all about um, strange um, desk lamps. Actually, let's do a series that is about interesting items. I actually collect things. I, uh, I've been collecting oddities for, God, a very, very long time. Uh, it started with me collecting quack medical things, and now I mostly focus on things that I find when I'm traveling. So every time I go to a country, I will usually take home like one souvenir, and it'll just be like something interesting. You know, not your typical little tchotchke of a, like a statue or like whatever. It'll be something that, uh, will show a side of the country that I find interesting. And one thing that I find interesting with a lot of places, uh, but especially Madagascar, is like how resourceful people are. And this is a great example of that. Uh, this is just made out of scrap and a light bulb. <laughs> but everything else here is just things that this lady found, uh, like in the trash or was thrown away and she recycled it or reused it rather into uh into a light and that is awesome it was like all she was selling too she had a big pile of uh the parts of this and she was sitting there making these for people to use i know it's maybe not you know the prettiest looking thing by you know western standards or anything but you gotta think about just like how ingenious this is and how somebody could actually make uh, a living or be able to get by with selling this, uh, with, with selling something that just shows that kind of ingenuity. So let's break it down. I'm going to show you what this uh, is comprised of. Obviously in the front we have the light bulb. And the light bulb, as you can see, I believe this is actually an LED bulb because look at those three little squares in there. Those are, uh, that's like a little LED strip. So this is, although uh, made very like rustic and everything, the light bulb will probably last a really long time. It's probably not going to get too hot, which is maybe like a slight concern to have like, this kind of wiring with uh, a piece of uh, wood. But with an LED bulb, it's probably less of a concern. That's good to know. Uh, and then we have the CD. Now this appears to be uh, a DVD, <laughs> just from the coloring of it. It is used. I think this is just like what you call in the business a coaster. I can't read that. Uh, if you can figure out what movie this is, uh, let me know in the comments. But they probably tried burning this and then it just didn't work. They had like a failed disc, so instead of throwing out that disc, it got reused. Then we have a piece of wood here, very like it just looks like a thin piece of scrap wood that was cut into uh, like a little triangle at the top here. I'm not entirely certain but i think that's the top of a bottle it's like it looks like a little bottle cap uh meant to go on top of like a like a beer bottle to to save it or like a i think that's what that is i'm not entirely sure it has writing on it it says uh sodim so i believe that's what that is otherwise it might have come with the light bulb I'm not not entirely sure but to me it looks like a bottle cap then we got a little wire that goes uh from the back 
to the center, and it goes through the front, and then breaks out into two sides. On uh, this side, there is a piece of scrap metal that was cut into a little rectangle and then folded a couple of times. And this is to act kind of like the spring that would be normally in a battery pack. So this is where the, the negative side of a battery would go up against right there. And it adds that little spring to it so you can fit all three batteries in, or presumably <laughs> uh, not all three batteries fit in here, spoiler. And uh, that's where the one wire goes to, to that side. The other one wraps around and goes to a thumbtack. I'm not sure if you can see it or not, but it's actually going through the other side, so I could like feel it just on the end there. And uh, yeah, the bottom is just a piece, more of like the same sort of material, this thin wood. And that's it. It was painted on the bottom, um, you know, pink, because, you know, whatever reasons. And that's it. That is the light. And it does work. So there's a little nail right there, you can probably see it just barely, uh, which is a little concerning because it, it, it doesn't fit perfectly, so you have to have to scratch the battery a little bit to get it in. Uh, it's probably not so super safe, but it's all right. And then the final one goes in uh, right here, and as, I, as you can see, it doesn't really fit but uh, it doesn't really need to because as you can see that light is on. So when you put those in, it lights up. I'm not sure if it's accidental or not that these don't fit in because this actually kind of acts as like a good on off switch because there is no switch on it so you're able to like if you want to turn off your light you just like take it out if you want to put it on you just put it in. As you can see, it does stand upright with the batteries inside it, but if you take the batteries out, it doesn't. <laughs> and actually, it's a little bit of a concern because it's top heavy right here, so it could break the glass. Um, so you gotta keep your batteries in it to keep it standing up. This costs 6,000 Ariani, which is um, about a dollar fifty. But the only thing that really costs any money here is that light bulb. Everything else is stuff that would normally get thrown away. And that's pretty cool. You know, so the fact that somebody is able to uh, take the take these pieces and rather than chuck them, make something out of it and make a living selling this is uh, is incredible. I love that. I think we're uh, fairly wasteful <laughs> here in the US, so we throw a lot of stuff away. This is all stuff that would get thrown out. Um, and the fact that, you know, someone can see these little pieces and be like, oh, you know, I can make something out of that is, uh, is just great to me. I love that stuff. So, um, yeah, hope you enjoy this. Let me know what you think, guys. This is going to be a new series. I'm going to try a few epi episodes of this and, uh, and see how it goes. Let me know what you think, if you have any ideas, anything you want to see. Um, I will be happy to share. It's always fun to do a show and tell, right? So I have a whole hell of a lot of stuff that I've accumulated over the years. Um, things that show the resourcefulness of a culture as well as uh, things that are just kind of odd and make you think. So we're going to explore a little bit of this stuff together. And um, if you enjoy it, I'll keep making them. So hope you did, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Well, I really hope you enjoyed that video, guys. If you did, you may want to check out the video that is below me right now. That should be good, too. Also, if you haven't subscribed already, it is a huge help to my channel, so please do consider subscribing or clicking that bell. That does something, too. Not sure what it is. Also, check out the description below. There's all sorts of other things I have going on. I don't even know anymore. But, guys, I will see you next time. Take care.